Um, so speaking of these tools specifically, um, I mean, I think everybody knows that mobile has kind of grown substantially. Um, and I think that, you know, it's not only that we have mobile phones, but it's also really changed the way that we view the world, the way that we interact with brands, the way that we um, just see everybody, the way that we connect with one another, uh, social media, and all that kind of stuff is tied into that. Um, but it used to be that you would, uh, you know, you'd have a product, you'd have a business, you'd buy some marketing, you'd get some attention, that would result in sales, then you'd use that money to buy more marketing, it was kind of a circle like this. And what's kind of happened over the past few years is that it's not really working so much anymore. Um, I think it's because we've been bombarded by advertising uh, since we've been born, well, since I've been born. Um, you know, it's been a long time of us just sort of that old way of marketing the, the radio, the TV, the newspaper, you know, it's that shotgun blast and say, if I get enough eyeballs, enough of those people are gonna like what I do, they're gonna remember me, they're gonna come in and use my service, and that's how they do things. And the shift that I'm seeing happening, what I really focus on, is less of going after like the middle of the hump, going after the most amount of people. I go after the people who are already kind of using your business, the people who are uh, talking about you, the people who like what you do, because I want those people to tell their friends. It's a lot more about you know, referral marketing because they're gonna share socially what they're doing. They're gonna talk to people and say, you know, I like XYZ restaurant. Um, they're gonna share those pictures. They take a picture on Instagram, you know, Twitter, whatever it is. They share those kind of things. And uh, me as a person, if I'm seeing someone I know talk about a restaurant, it's much more effective for me to see that than it is for me to see some bus ad or to see some other kind of advertising, right? I trust that person, I probably kind of like the same thing, so uh, seeing that means I may like the same restaurant and much more out. I already trust them, right? I think marketing kind of has the, um, the view, just like used car salesmen and insurance, those kind of industries, you know, like people don't really trust them because, um, you know, they try to trick people for so long. So that's sort of, I guess, my viewpoint for the whole company, for what we really do. <clears throat> I mean, I guess the basis of what uh, talking about today. Less of a focus on getting the, the mass amount of people, but getting the people who already like you to come back in more often, get them to tell their friends about it. And using these kind of tools specifically, I guess, to make that happen. Uh, so mobile website, mobile apps, we'll go over a very simple overview of what they are. <clears throat> so mobile website, first of all, just like a regular website, is accessed over the internet. Um, on your phone, you open up whatever browser you have, Internet Explorer, whatever reason, uh, Chrome or whatever you choose to use. So that's how mobile websites are accessed. Um, can display, display text, data, images, video, just like a regular website. Um, and you can access some mobile specific features such as a click to call, location based mapping. So you'll see a lot of that with mobile websites uh, taking advantage of the platform. I'll show a couple of examples later where companies have really thought about you know, how would somebody on a mobile phone use my website versus somebody on a desktop see different versions of the same company website. Again, really thinking about you know, how would that person actually interact with me in this situation on the phone. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, mobile apps on the other hand, so they're downloaded and installed onto your phone. Um, you gotta go to the App Store, the BlackBerry App World, or Google, whatever they call it, Android, like Android Play, Google, Google Play. Play. No. I should know because I've got an Android, but uh, <laughs> and then, uh, the Apple App Store, right? So you've got to go there, you've got to download and uh, install the app onto your phone. So I think of that as almost more of a computer program, right? A website sort of accessed by anybody. Um, an app is more of a computer program. It's sort of designed for a specific purpose and downloaded onto your phone. Like you said, you need to visit the App Store. Um, one of the advantages is that you can set it up so that you can access the mobile app online or offline. Um, with the website, you've got to be online to access it, obviously, because you're going on the internet, but you can set up a mobile app and you can access some information offline. <clears throat> and you can also get access to more specific features than you could with the mobile website. Uh, camera is one example. You can integrate a lot more. Some of the power of the phone, you can do a lot better with the app. Um, one of the key things I find differences too is that, uh, and I say this all the time, is when people come to me and say, I need a mobile app, my first question is always like, for what, like what do you see the app doing, right? Um, I believe you need to start with the mobile website because if people are gonna search for your company, they're gonna look on Google, right? Looking and doing a random search for 
entertainment or looking for Thai restaurant, whatever it is, they're going to look on Google and not going to go to the app store. Right? Uh, you need to start, I think, with a mobile website. Beyond that, whatever else you do is fantastic, but then I don't think your mobile app uh, should just be a repeat of the mobile website. It needs to add some sort of extra value. You know, like, why am I going to bother downloading your app onto your, your desk, my desktop? Or 